finally, I want to touch upon one single aspect that most of us live in cities and Indian cities, as we all know, are facing some sustainability issues. And we have, see, we have been witnessing the decline in blue and green infrastructure. So the blue spaces, the ponds, wetlands in our cities are on the decline and the green infrastructure is being replaced by concretization. And this decline is giving immediate effects in monsoons and summers. We are facing deadly urban floods year after year and we are facing hottest year on the record every year. So this is where we have to think that it's not about the government alone. It's about the citizenship. It's about the corporate, the civil society. And each individual effort, when taken in a cumulative manner, it will provide big results and thus we are in a position to give a sustainable future to our next generations. And I'm optimistic of this very fact that starting from the global level and to the regional grassroots level, many civil society organizations, just like the doctors, are working for this cause. And I believe that there should be a synergy between the governments, the corporate, and the civil society organization to make that meaningful change and to make our planet sustainable and livable for all of us. So I once again uh, end my, I, I once again pay my respects to all of those who are working for this noble cause. And I believe that future will be for all of us, not just for the humans, but for all of the organi organisms on this planet. So I end my note with this. Thank you for sparing me this time. <laughs>